Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechy.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I was surfing the web the other day in search for um, a way to have um, multiple um, docks in OS X. For those of you who don't know what a dock is, in OS X, um, and I'm sure you're familiar with this in some way or another, because everyone on the Windows side tries to copy this this dock feature. Even in Linux, they try to copy it. Um, it's the way they, that you can manage your applications, um, sort of similar to a taskbar, but a little fancier and sleeker. Um, and, and the functionality of the basic functionality is a little different. Um, aside from that, um, if you're familiar with OS X, you've probably heard of a of a software that's built into OS X called Spaces. And what Spaces does is it allows you to have multiple virtual desktops on your on your machine. So, for example, it's very useful with laptops or uh, or even, you know, an iMac with, you know, you only have a single monitor, for example. Um, and what you can do is you can have multiple um, desktops. I believe it's up to, is it 32 or is it 16? I don't recall off the top of my head. I can look. But it, it doesn't really matter. Regardless, what... I found is the software that allows you to do the same thing with docs. Um, so you can create a different, uh, like I, they give you, uh, right now there's only four. You can only create four different docs, including the default doc. So it's a total of five different docs. Okay? Now, the whole idea behind the software, it's called Doc, um, Doc Spaces. And I'll give a link to everything in the show notes and all that stuff. But I want to talk a little bit about it. I want to show it off. Now, what I did was, I went over and I downloaded it and I installed it, right? And what I did was I have different purposes um, depending on what I'm doing. So I have a dock now for internet. I have a dock for multimedia. I have a dock for coding. I have a dock for all different types of utilities and so on and so forth. And I have my default. Uh, that's my. Those are my four main docks. Then I have my default dock, which is what um, you know the the general dock. Um, so I'm going to switch over to uh, right now. I'm just going to switch over to Camp Twist to show the um, the monitor right here. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about and how I separated the docs depending on the different uses. And it really makes things a lot simpler. Um, and what's even better is you can even set up the docs in different spaces so it integrates. So let's say you want to have it, the internet doc, um, all your internet applications um, on space one, right? And you have space two. And it only by the way, it only works up to four spaces because you have four docs. Um, I, I hope that he ex that the guy who wrote this program extends the capabilities to more docs, um, at least the amount of spaces you can actually have. It'll be, it'll, I think that'll really you know, improve it and make it a lot better. But right now the software is pretty nice. Um, anyway, you can assign different docs to different spaces, like so, like the internet uh, doc, the uh, multimedia doc, the coding doc, and the utilities doc, all to different spaces, one through four. Anyway, let me show you what it looks like in action. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop so you can see what's going on over here. Let me just uh, switch this. All right, so I'm going to, now you should see my desktop, correct? Now you see that I have a doc, let me, let me zoom in a little bit, hold on. Um, you can see that I have, oh crap, that was close. I zoomed in a little too much. <laughs> you can see I have my different docs, correct? Right. Okay, so if I go over here, I'm going to zoom out for a second. If I zoom out. And I go over here, I'm going to zoom back in a little too much. With this new mouse, the MX Air, it's a little hard to use that. But you'll see you have this little icon right here. It looks like a dock with a, uh, you know, a background. And you click that, and you'll see if I zoom out just a little bit, you'll see that you have in, I, have in, I have internet, multimedia, coding, and utilities, and then default dock. I just want to go over to the preferences really fast, and I'm going to zoom out for a second, and zoom back in. Sorry if this is making you a little sick, I'm sorry. As you can see, you can set up the different names. By default, they're just Doc1, Doc2, Doc3, Doc4, but you can give it different names for ease of, you know, ease of use. Then you have the spaces that I was talking about. You can set up different docs in different spaces. See, I can have internet in, you know, space one, or in space two, I can have, you know, multimedia, for example. And you can just do different ways. And you have the general options. You can, you know, bouncing icons, lock the items, translucent, dock theme, 2D or 3D stacks, etc., etc. 
Um, that's basically the core functionality right there. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to zoom back out. Now I'm going to go over here to dock to the dock. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And you'll see that if you ha has little shortcut icons, you can hit on the keyboard as well. You can hit uh, Control 1 to do the internet dock, or you can just click it there. And the same with the other ones, Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, Control 0, and it will, um, you know, switch the dock. So I'm going to do, I'm going to click, uh, let's say I want my internet dock, right? So I'm going to click internet, I'm going to zoom out, and you'll see that the dock switches, as you can see. And it'll switch in a second. There you go. So it switched the dock and it brought back my desktop that was there before. But um, as you can see, these are all different applications. I have, instead of just having a few applications, I have Mail, Firefox, Adium, Skype, Linkinus, Transmission, Ventrilo, iChat, WebKit, Safari, Flickr Uploader, Stream Desk, uh, and so on and so forth. Those are all my internet applications. Now I'm going to do a little shortcut just to show you. I'm going to go to um, Control 2, which is multimedia, and you'll see that the dock is going to be a little different. So I'm going to go scroll back down to the dock. And you'll see that I have, ooh, a little too much zoom right there. All right, you'll see that I have VLC, iTunes, uh, iPhoto, you know, iMovie, Audio Hijack Pro, excellent application, QuickTime, DVD player, iDVD, Front Row, GarageBand, and so on. And it keeps the applications you had open um, in, t in that dock menu so you don't lose them. And you get the idea. This application is very um, key if you have a lot of different applications installed that you need to, a way to manage them efficiently and effectively. So like, uh, the way I did it is an, is an excellent way of doing it, I think. Because if you, if you, let's say, you have one set of tools you use for uh, you know, surfing the web, Firefox, um, Internet, uh, Safari, WebKit, you know, I use Cam Twist when I stream, uh, Flickr Uploader to upload images, so on and so forth. And then I have another set of tools which I use, you know, audio, um, video, editing, stuff like that, listening to music, you know, iTunes, iMovie, a VLC player, so on and so forth. And then when I'm coding, I have uh, Coda or, uh, you know, FTP, things like that, that make, um, you know, coding easier and more and have it all in one location making it very efficient and you can also even throw a web browser in there so you can check your code when it's done you know into that dock makes it very simple uh, another thing another thing uh, I have all my utilities on the other one so that's what, like you know act uh, activity uh, monitor the console the terminal you know um, network tools all of those tools and utilities go into that dock so when I'm troubleshooting something or I'm looking up something you know uh, to figure out you know my network usage or whatever the case may be that helps I just switch it over and I can switch back and forth with these it only takes a few seconds for the dock to switch and you can totally customize them however you like um, and mess with the dock settings just how you would if it was a default one and if you want to go back to the you know typical dock just control zero or go back to default it's that easy dock spaces I highly recommend you check it out it's very neat very useful on OS 10 works great with spaces there's no reason why not to use it and especially if you use spaces, this could be a great tool for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Of course, this has been live.besttaken.net. We always have the chat room open, talking tech typically, answering questions, general chatter, whatever. And uh, you can stop by live.besttaken.net and join us there. And remember, every Wednesday, and Wednesday's tomorrow, today's Tuesday, um, every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Time, I do a radio show called Call for Help. And we take live calls, Skype calls, talk tech, latest news. Probably tomorrow we're going to talk a little about the new MacBooks that came out today. Um, but anyway... I just want to thank everyone for watching once again, and remember, take care of your computers, and we'll see you next time.